this one time in Worcester. It was like somewhere around Worcester. It was like like close. It was like five minutes away from Worcester. See, it was like really far and random building. We, it was hard to find. We all went for this road trip. It was me, Scotty Jive, uh, Monster Mac, Tree Number One, uh, Scott Levesque. That was the RCW. Steve Savage was the head writer or whatever for that. So Monster Mac and uh, Trinity Number One, uh, I think Scotty Jive was too, but they were all involved in a battle royal. So we go on to that show. Nobody's really there, but we don't care. We had like a battle royal. I figured everybody else was signing up, so they had, we had this idea from, to sign me up. And I threw on the, the lab coat and the wrestling boots, and I had my swishies on. He had like this doctor outfit and actually he just had swishies in a doctor coat. And I actually participated in the Battle Royal. I don't remember his name, I don't really care. Dr. T, whatever. <laughs> it was funny too because before before we did the Battle Royal, I didn't know how to throw wrestling punches. I had this guy, Joey Bleaks, teach me how to throw wrestling punches. And I had a couple of other guys help me. On paper and over the phone sounded great. Wasn't. I actually eliminated trade number one. No. Oh, bro. Well, I didn't even realize he eliminated anybody. <laughs> Although trade number one hates battle royals. But unfortunately, not too long after that, uh, you know, Monster Mac threw me over the tops. The, the ring was terrible. The mats were crappy. The ropes broke during the match, so we couldn't do half anything we wanted to do. Before the battle royal, because that was the first match, um, apparently these two these other two wrestlers, they decided to order pizza. So the hoods, they ordered a pizza or something else. Apparently they ordered pizza. Chuck Morris finds out, flips out. He started yelling at the people that ordered pizza and actually kicked them out of the show. You know, he feels he's disrespected. He was providing the pizza. They didn't know that he was providing the pizza. But never mentioned it to us, so, you know, people get hungry waiting for their matches. He got all pissed and bent out of shape. Pyro and... DV and a bunch of other guys were just gonna walk out. Apparently the wrestlers can't feed themselves, you know, without getting in trouble. The promoter came in and made Chuck Morris kind of apologize. They were getting ready to leave and the, you know, the guy apologized, so I mean, they stayed. Chuck Morris is insane. I don't care if he sees this video and he wants to run host, kick me. But it was, it was funny, it was funny as hell. And uh, yeah, like I said, I had some pretty good times. <laughs> no, no.